Welcome to this Haiku screencast. And in this screencast I want to show you the brand new release of Haiku Alpha 3. And I want to show you the brand new features of this Alpha 3. And first of all I want to start with hardware drivers. So this is one very important uh, task for an operating system to ship hardware drivers. And Haiku ships with a bunch of new wireless LAN drivers which allow you to connect your Wi-Fi to your ni Wi-Fi network. And Haiku also ships with an updated network management tool that allows you to connect to those Wi-Fi networks, but it only supports unencrypted and VEP encrypted networks so far. So with a right click on uh, the network management icon you can get a list of, normally you will get a list of uh, wireless LANs. I'm running here in a virtual box so I don't get this, I don't see this list because I don't have uh, wireless enabled here in the virtual box. But normally you will get a list of the wireless LANs nearby and you can just with one mouse click connect to them if they are unencrypted or uh, they are only encrypted with VEP. If you have problems connecting with your card and your card normally is supported, is uh, um, recognized by Haiku, you can just go to the terminal. You need, of course, an internet connection, so you need to have a LAN cable or some sort of cable connection, uh, and you need access to the internet. Uh, you can just execute the command install Wi Fi firmware, which will install the firmware drivers for the Broadcom chipsets and some Intel chipsets. Of course, you have to agree to the license agreement that those uh, firmware files ship with. And after this, you should normally then use your Wi Fi drivers for unencrypted and VP encrypted networks. So, besides Wi Fi, improvements, Heiko has also gained a lot of drivers, about 4000 printed drivers that were ported by just simply porting the Gutenprint library to Heiko. So I can show you this as well, just go to the preferences and printers and here we see the normal printing dialog and click on add here, just add a printer just like my brother here. Now on the printer tab, this is new, you can choose Gutenprint and at a connector to you have to uh, choose APR for APT connection or USB port if you have your printer connected via USB. You can click on add and this will bring up the new Gutenprint select printer dialog with all the glory of the uh, driver vendors and uh, printer driver vendors basically just like as you can see here we have brother as a printer vendor we have Lexmark here, we have Kodak, uh, IBM, uh, we have HP and lots and lots of drivers as you can see here. So about 4000 drivers that Haiku has gained in the printing section which is really really remarkable. And here just let me choose my printer. Here I have a laser printer so laser printers are also supported not only the normal printers. So I click on OK here and have my printer installed but I will cancel this. So this is really really nice feature and I think printing under Haiku at least from the drivers section won't be a problem anymore as uh, all my printers uh, at least work and are recognized by the Gutenprint um, drivers. So this is uh, basically the um, hardware driver uh, update in Alpha 3. What Haiku developers also updated are uh, the software uh, elements, the software, especially the, the look and feel of the software, especially in the media player section. As you can see here, the media player has gained a completely overhaul look mm, uh, sometimes ago, uh, uh, but uh, at least for Alpha 2 users, I think this should be new. So the new control controls here for playback, stop, and volume control, and switching, uh, switching for something in the file itself. This is really nice. What's also new I think is the attributes menu which allows you to rate your audio or video files just simply by well, just simply by a number from 1 to 10. And those ratings uh, are interesting because you can then search for those ratings as they are saved in the attributes um, section of the file itself so and you can search uh, the ratings easily with the search tool and it will list all the files with the same rating. 
also very nice and handy if you have uh, video files with different audio tracks you can just choose the audio track which you want to listen to just by clicking on audio and choosing the track and the interesting thing is uh, this is especially useful for DVD rips or MKVs you normally get with, with different uh, audio tracks you can choose the right language for example a nice another feature is I think in the playlist they added a feature which allows you to just uh, move the file that's currently play playing back or currently selected to the trash so you don't need to navigate with your file manager to the location where the file is located and yeah this is basically for the media uh, player the update for the media player from the outside from the inside they updated the media kit so the, uh, the one software component that's responsible for audio and video playback and encoding of audio and video and as I can show, show you this with this FLV file they are now using um, FFmpeg codecs so that normally you won't need any um, VLC anymore because the media player, the native Hyke media player will play back almost everything that's out there, every video file that's also out there. As you can see here it's playing fine uh, of course it's a little bit slow because I'm running here in the virtual machine as you can see so I might slow down the video file a little bit besides playback there's also an update for encoding so let me open up the media converter to show you that there are a few new codecs from which you can choose to encode to so let me just drop this video file here in the media converter and as you can see I can now choose the file format to be not only uh, AVI but also Matroska or OGG. So let me choose Matroska here. I can choose the audio encoding again set and this is I think new Dolby Digital AC3 and Vorbis Audio. And under video encoding I can choose between MPEG4, Theora and MJPEG. And I think MPEG4 and Theora at least are or at last are new at least to me. I can click on convert now and the file will be then converted it will take some time I think you're on the virtual machine so let me abort this here and show you another nice and cool feature which they added also in the multimedia section uh, the image viewer show image which they updated a lot so let me open up a um, folder here with some images image files and let me open up this image files and as you can see the new show image GUI which has gained a toolbar which allows you to zoom in and uh, to do some other adjustments in zooming for the file. You can just navigate the file by, by just pressing the left mouse button and navigate through it. Pressing and holding the left mouse button and navigate. And there's also the mode to select something. So selection mode is built back into the show image so that you can select an part of the image and save it somewhere else and as you can see you now have saved the selection of course you can save the selection as different format not only BMP but also JPEG 2000, JPEG, PNG, PPM, SGI, Targa, TIFF and the brand new WebP format uh, this is the new format initiated from Google that um, yeah should be the standards in the next few years so Heiko is also supporting this uh, very very rarely used but the very very new and hopefully hopefully the new standard uh, for web images which is really really nice so besides this also you have the option to um, start a slideshow and you have of course the option to navigate through uh, your images and let's take please take a look at the file manager here and the marked file when I'm just going to the next file as you can see it will mark the next file so it's now showing the next file and it's marking this one also in my tracker window which is very very handy if you are searching for a file that you don't know uh, how it's called and you're searching for file just with the show image here and you can then just see ah butterfly girl this is my uh, file that I want to copy with uh, or share with my friends. I can just then have it marked here and then just copy it over to my friend's computer or something or USB drive or something like this. Very, very handy. 
Another really nice uh, tool also integrated here is the rating feature so we can directly rate uh, images as well. As you can see I have also rated uh, already rated this image uh, with uh, 10 and I think this with 7, yeah. So it works very, very, very nice. Of course full screen mode is also available as well as uh, the option to start a slideshow and you have also the option to rotate the image clockwise or uh, counterclockwise and flip the image uh, top to right or top to bottom. And of course you can use the image as background. So this is basically the features uh, that are new in Show Image under Heiko Alpha 3. And uh, there's another really cool and interesting feature in window management. So as you see I have here now a window and if I want to move the window I have to click here on the border or on another border, small borders here, to move it. This was yeah, pretty nasty if you are using the web browser and you have an uh, ad or something like this that opens the web browser so big that you cannot see any of the borders and you cannot move the window. Haiku has fixed this with a nice clever uh, feature called yeah, moving windows. Basically you press the control and alt key and now you have the option with the left mouse button to just move the window uh, no matter where the mouse is on the window. And they also added another nice feature by pressing control alt you will see that they mark the corners if I move the mouse here. This is an indicator for resizing. So with the right mouse button you can resize a window um, in the direction in which you can see uh, the, the uh, marks here. So basically if I only mark the left border here I can only resize it to the left. If I mark uh, left down, uh, it's left, no it's right down of course. <laughs> right down I can move it right down, uh, scale it mm, right down. I can move it up, uh, I can resize it to the left, left down, now it's left down, the right left down. Uh, so this works pretty fine. I think this is a very, very nice feature. And together with this cool new feature that I will show you now, it's in the release notes, so you have to read the release notes as well because there are some new hidden cool features like, for example, uh, the um, stack and tile algorithm or integration of the stack and tile window management this, uh, that was originally pioneered by the University of Auckland and it's available by this command. So you have to copy this command over, enter into a terminal window and what this allows you to do now, if I enter this, is I can um, just open up a second uh, file manager for example and what I can do now is just group windows together. So you might know the old cool total commander feeling uh, if you want to uh, copy files and o over to another partition or, or folder. So this is also possible now with this cool new feature just by dragging and holding um, the Windows key. Oh no, press the Windows key or the super key and then drag and hold uh, the left mouse button and drag this window to, or the another window, to the border of the other one and as you can see it's now marking those two borders here and this um, marks or this indicates that you are now um, connecting those two windows at this border. So let me just lose this one here and as you can see here now they both connected so if I'm moving this window around you can see the other window is also moving. A little bit buggy but ah, now it works. So I can move both windows around and they're both connected to each other. And what's very clever, if I'm resizing this window here, you can see the other one is also resizing. So they're grouped together. So this is a really, really nice feature, especially handy if you are copying large files or if you're working in source trees and want to move files around and so on. This is really, really nice. A uh, little bit old stylish uh, Norton Commander, may, uh, Commander stylish, how it looks like here. If you uh, want to disconnect both windows, you can just press and hold the Windows or Super key and just move the one window uh, away from the other one. And what's also nice and pretty nice and cool is that you not only have the option to stack and tile those uh, windows or to group them together, you can also 
have them uh, grouped by tabs just like in the browser that you might know you can also move those one tab on top of the another by pressing the Windows key again and you can see it will have a different color here the tab and you can then let go and you, as you can see now they are grouped as tabs you can switch from one tab to another and this not only works for applications um, like the uh, applications that are the same basically but also for other applications just for example the media player here you can drag it here as you can see now the media player is uh, running here and you can just switch between the tabs media player and uh, file manager tabs without any problems close applications and you can of course detach this uh, window again by pressing and holding the Windows key or super key and then just moving with the left mouse button this window away. So this is a nice and pretty pretty handy feature, a unique feature as I think because I did not see something like this in uh, at least not with the grouping feature uh, on other operating systems or window management uh, window managers. So this is basically this. Another nice system feature is the availability to mount X4 partitions now in Haiku and not only mount them as read only but also read and write. So let me show and illustrate it with this X4 image I created here because I don't have an uh, X4 partition here in my virtual machine. So let me just mount this X4 partition to a location I created. Uh, I need to create. First of all, the location, of course. Next, for mount, and then mount this uh, disk image to this location. And as you can see uh, here, it will create a desktop icon. So normally, you would do this if you have an X4 partition, a Linux partition. Uh, you go to uh, here, mount, and then just mount the partition. And I can open up this partition, and as you can see, I have and file in here I can show this file cover from music uh, from a music band I can delete this file so I have also write access to the f uh, to the file system I can of course let me search uh, for the file copy the file back over without any problems. Uh, this works very very nice and handy. And this is not only supported for X4 but also X3 and X2 and for the brand new ButterFS, uh, so the future of the Linux file systems basically it's still in development but it's also supported here in Haiku, uh, already supported in Haiku and this is really really nice and besides that there's also support for XFAT so the new the uh, yeah, the successor basically of FAT32, the new file system that's used by SDXC cards. So the new cards that you uh, might get to know when you're buying a new um, uh, a new video camera or a um, uh, new digital camera, uh, especially useful for for big um, files. And this is also supported in Heiko, which is a really really nice feature. And I guess. Uh, at least the Linux users will love that they can now easily share their files uh, without a USB stick or something like this directly to uh, or with an X4 partition. So besides that there's only one feature that I want to show you now an updated web positive web browser. So the web positive web browser, the default web browser in Hargo now has gained some uh, nice little features I would say and on the outside you won't notice so much it has become very very stable and it's now very, very useful let me show the you the haikuos.org website to show you how you can get Haiku Alpha free for your testing you can go to the Haiku website click on get Haiku here and now you will see that there are guidelines like burning the CD installation guideline or making a Haiku USB or stick and you have also the option of course to download from one of the mirror uh, mirrors here and you have different files the AnyBoot image which is, which is basically a uh, boot image which allows you to install on a raw HDD or USB stick or CD you have the ISO image which, which only allows you to install on ISO on, on DVD or CD 
and you have the virtual uh, image which allows you to use the Haiku system under VirtualBox just like I do here or under firmware player and you have some torrents here and checksums of course and then one very very important stuff here was the thing here you can also buy a Haiku CD from Haiku Incorporated and the interesting thing here is that if you buy the Haiku CD Haiku will get some money from this and it's a really nice way to support the Haiku operating system by just simply purchasing one CD uh, from the Haiku Incorporated. So this is basically that and for the browser now uh, you can, there's a nice little feature I don't think, I, I'm not sure if it's uh, was av available in the offer too, that you can just double click here and it will open up a new tab so and with the uh, right uh, with the middle mouse button you can just close the tab really, really easy and good and one very interesting feature uh, that Haiku gained uh, the web, web positive gained is that you don't have to enter an URL here in this URL bar you can also enter and search key f word basically so uh, for example Haiku screencasts here I hit enter and it will automatically start googling around for this page and as you can see here I found the Haiku screenshot, uh, screencasts blogspot.com website. Uh, this works really nice and really cool. And yeah, this is basically everything for this Haiku screencast. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy the new Haiku Alpha 3. And hope you learned something about the new Haiku Alpha 3 features. And yeah, this is basically everything for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, thanks for watching.